Stanislav, I'm torn between two visas, EB1A and EB2 NIW, and I'm a STEM professional. So which one to choose? What's the best option for me? My friends, today I'm gonna give you all the details how to choose between EB1A visa and EB2 NIW if you are a STEM professionals. At the end of this video, you will also learn how to get a free evaluation of your case. Let's go! Hello, my dear friends. I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. Today, we're going to cover the differences between EB1A and EB2 in IW for STEM professionals and how to choose between these two visas. So let's first talk about the similarities between these two visas. So first of all, yes, they are called visas but in fact they are green cards because any visa that starts with two letters e b employment based are the green cards so both of them will give you and your spouse and your kids below 21 years old a green card okay so if it's mama papa and two children there, there are four visas that will be given to you four green cards that's number one. Number two, and it's also very important because only these two visas stand out among all others. And in this case, both of these two visas do not require an employer. Every other visa, with a little exception with EB-5, not gonna talk about this today because not many of you have a million dollars to invest, right? So all other visas require an employer. EB1A and EB2 and IW do not require an employer, okay? They self-petition. Of course, if there is an employer, that's good. You know, that's good. That's gonna give you a little bit more chances uh, because for the officer, it's, you know, it, it's a bonus point. But 95% of my cases that I file for EB1A and EB2 and IW, and I file about 30 cases a month in these two categories, they are without an employer. So this is great thing because we have all the tools to get those visas to the maximum chance of approval, which is more than 90%. And by the way, guys, in the industry, it's 50%. If you don't take my word for it, go to the official uh, website where you can find the statistics, how many visas of these categories filed a year and how many of them are getting approved. 50%, I'm, and I'm talking more about EB1A, right? EB2 and IW, maybe a little bit more. So we get you up to 90% and more, well, first, because we specialize on those visas. These are the 80% of my practice, 80%. And also the whole company, which is 110 people. You didn't know that, right? My corporation has 110 people working only for one purpose, to get you the result. All of these people are prepared and trained to get you the result for this type of immigration. And we have all the tools. We have the PR agencies we work with. We have vendors who help you with the cases. We give you the templates. We have the process. It's just we do things that nobody does. That's why only us can get you to this uh, percentage of the chances of approval. Now, let's talk about the differences because EB1A is a talent visa, is a classic talent visa. And of course, if you STEM professional, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, you're mostly looking at these two visas to choose from. So EB1A has eight criteria that's available to you as a STEM professional. And who is STEM professional? Scientists, business people who bring innovation and technology, uh, engineers, uh, IT people, cybersecurity, doctors, architects, and other professionals. Mathematicians, it's like, you know, also scientists in my, yeah, in my view. So we have eight criteria available to you and we need to satisfy just three, just three of them, okay? And you guys, without knowing, 
And I know many of you just say, Stanislav, I'm not talented. I'm just you know, building those satellites and uh, those uh, rocket launchers and those bridges and that artificial intelligence. I'm, I'm not talented, you know, I'm just doing this every day. If you're not talented, I don't know who are. I don't know who is. Okay, because you know, I cannot build a satellite, I cannot code the artificial intelligence, I cannot build a bridge or create this solar panel field and this kind of stuff and I'm not in a, in a lab doing this research. Only me can determine if you're talented, not you. I'm sorry, you're not qualified. Just like I'm not qualified to determine the quality of your work. Don't tell me I'm not talented. Only I can tell if you're talented. All right, and why? Because I've been doing this for 10 years. I know the talent. I know the case that I can approve, all right? And I never take the cases I cannot, I cannot get the approval for, never. I don't care about the money. I care about, I care about the result. Money is important, I have to pay my team, but my first goal is to get you the result efficiently. I'm not like those attorneys who have hidden fees. Oh, we don't know about this, about that. You know everything from the very beginning. Full transparency. So all of you, all of you have at least three criteria and many of you can get at least three more if you work with us, okay? Which, which three of them you have? You have high salary. You have a critical leading role in a company with distinguished reputation and you have judging the work of other professionals just through your work. Not gonna go deep into detail, just trust my word. Cause I'm a professional, I'm a licensed professional. So everything that comes out of my mouth is supported by law and facts. Otherwise I would lose my license, okay? So all of you have three criteria. And all of you will get three more. The press articles, because we have the tools to do that. The academic articles, because we have to, the tools to do that. And also the association. Guys, we know associations in STEM that work for you. And nobody does that for you, okay? Only Shamayev and his team, we care about every single case. Okay, it's just not a number in the, in the paper for us. This is a life. And by the way, the goal of my corporation is to bring 10,000 of you to the US by the year 2030. We are about three and a half thousand in. So we are lagging behind with 6,500 more of you. That's what we do. We need to speed up to bring more people here and change the generational things. Because it's not only you, it's your family and extended family in the future. Guys, you know, sometimes I get a little bit uh, philosophical on this. But EB1A, for those of you who achieved certain things through your work, through your project and got some recognition, which we can always improve for the next six months. If you hear those things and like, oh my God, yes, I worked in good companies and I get good money or I did get good money. And yes, I assess the professionals in my company, maybe through code review, maybe through audits, performance review and things like that. Yeah, there you go. It's like almost sounds like EB1A to me. EB2 NIW is a different animal. We have three major criteria. And I know like uh, some, I know some attorneys watch me, some of you like nerds like me who like to go deep and like Stanislav, laugh, it's not four. It's not three, all right? But in my book, it's three. And, uh, and guys, I'm not trying to give you the legalese like other attorneys like, you watch the videos, it's like, I'm falling asleep. I, I, I cannot finish them up because it's just like recitation of the law does not explain the law. You can read it yourself, right? I'm doing the work for you. I'm bringing you the value. And I, I guess I'm the only one because I, I, you, let me guys know in the, in the comment section if there's another attorney who explains it better than me. I haven't met one yet. I'll be excited to learn from someone, but I didn't see anything even close. So it's three criteria, okay? Take it from me. Just, just, just go with it, okay? Go with the flow. Education, well positioned, the relevant experience, I call it sometimes, and the idea of the project in the national interest of the United States government. 
You got the education, bachelor's and five years of experience or master's, uh, or if you don't have education or not enough education, we can go with exceptional ability. It's almost like EB1A, there's like six criteria, the seventh one is alternative, we have to satisfy three of them. Don't worry about this right now. Also, relative experience, you've done things in the past that put you in a position to implement your idea of the project that you claim in your petition. And now, most importantly, your idea or a working project in the US that will bring benefit to the US. It must resolve some problems, some issues, and the resolution of those problems is in the national importance of the US government. So all of you STEM people who want to bring here innovation, technology, business in those things, if you want to continue legal research, if you want to work in a lab, if you want to bring the IT solutions that would help the economy to grow and th things like that, this is the program for you, okay? So it's not about what you achieved in your career. It's more about what projects did you work on because that's a part of the relative experience, right? Of the relevant experience, your well-positioned criterion. And uh, whether that project, whether that idea, that endeavor, that thing is gonna bring some expansion to the US. Yes, of course, you must have some recognition and achievement in your, uh, in your petition, just like uh, in EB1A. But it's not the main thing, it's not the core of your case. The core of your case is that idea of the project. Or if it's a working project, that's good. It could be application, it could be the software, it could be uh, artificial intelligence, it could be consulting services and engineering, it could be academic research, it could be bringing business idea with the uh, healthy uh, food for the population, it could be mental health issues and things like that, guys. And everything I listed are the real cases that we just got approved recently, okay? So this is the biggest difference. In the EB1A, we can choose the criteria we, we want to satisfy and that stems from the past what we got recognition for. EB2 and IW is like what kind of projects we worked in the past which we want to transfer to the US or similar projects because if you're building uh, application and it's a different application you suggest for the future, of course, you don't have the exact relevant uh, experience, but you have similar one, right? So don't be discouraged if it's like something new, but it's conceptually uh, the same with the past. That's good enough. The concept is more important. And you want to bring that here which is gonna resolve some problems, that's good for the US. You got it, right? So EB1A is more about the past and you, you kinda of presume to bring the benefit to the US. And EB2NIW is also about the past, but how that past is gonna influence what you're gonna do in the future. Guys, I think I just got the best explanation of EB2NIW in my whole career. <laughs> right in this video. Okay, so uh, spread the good word guys, smash that like button because you love it, because you love my energy, because you think that I'm an expert in the field and that I can get you approved. Smash that like button guys, let's see how many of you out there. Let's talk about other differences. EB1A is current, meaning that once I get you approved, we can start the immigration process immediately. EB2 and IW, you have to wait a year and a half, maybe more, and for some countries it's even more, before we can start with the green card. So it's a year and a half for EB1A for the whole process, from day one starting working with my team until you get the green card, and it could be two and a half up to three years for EB2 and IW. That's huge difference. Number two, more subjective for EB2 and IW. EB1A also have subjective component, but not as much as EB2 and IW. So if I qualify you for both, we always go with EB1A. Now, how the process goes? Six months preparation of your documents with my team improving and describing your case. It doesn't change. Okay, five, five of those months you work closely with the team. The sixth month I draft the memorandum. The designer makes it all beautiful, we print it out, send it with a, a mailman to USCIS, 
15 days or 45 days for uh, EB2 and IW, but usually they're faster, you guys get that approval. Then your case goes to the uh, Department of Communication with the embassies, where you either work with the embassy and we prepare the second part of this process, or we adjust your status if you are in the US. Okay, and of course, for NIW, you have to wait a little bit. What kind of paperwork, <laughs> guys? I know some of you uh, always ask me at the complex immigration planning, Stanislav, how are we gonna prove that? How are we gonna prove this? That's why you hire my corporation and myself, because we are the people to tell you how we're gonna prove it, okay? For me, it's more important whether it happened or not. If I know it happened, we'll find a way to prove it, okay? Trust my word, trust my word. You gotta trust your attorney, guys. You gotta build that rapport. You gotta build that trust and credibility with us. Because number one problem that I see with you starting working with my team and myself, you guys resist our processes. You resist our deadlines, which are pretty good, which are pretty liberal, I would say. You cannot, you, you think you know better. You don't. You know nothing actually about this, okay? You read some forum, you had some friend who got approval, forget about everything. Open up to my processes. Proved itself in thousands of approvals. Open your heart and soul to Shamayev and his company. We're still gonna approve you if you don't, okay? But you're gonna be stressed out, you're gonna spend more money, you're gonna be, uh, uh, you know, always like angry. We don't want that because we love you. We love our clients and we want less stress for you. The last most important thing, start your immigration process right now with free evaluation. You see what's happening with Trump administration. This is craziness. My forecasts six months, a year ago are nothing comparing to actually what's happening. I was on the bottom on the bottom line of those bad things that were, are happening right now. Things are getting really tight, but that means you need to hurry up because it's not gonna get better anytime soon. Start with free evaluation. The link is below this video. Click on it, fill out the talent visa form. Give me up to days. I'll get back to you with free analysis and look for the word potential. If I told you, you have the potential, that means that within the next six months, we can work on your case with my team and get you up to 90% of approval or more, whereas in the industry, it's only 50%. We get you up to 90 and more, depending on your case. So get that free evaluation, look for the word potential. If you saw it, come to the complex immigration planning, where in three stages, I'll get you the written strategy for your case. And then the last step is to hire my corporation and my team to start working on your case. Smash that like button under this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not. Press the bell button. I have Telegram Messenger, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and other social media platforms where I post unique content. Get that free evaluation out of the way. My name is Stanislav Shamayev. I'm a lawyer of the future. Your future begins here. Good luck.